understand the French, what we have sung is, everywhere we shall pass, we shall live a blessing. Am I right? Yes, so all the other ladies who are members of the Women Fellowship kindly join so that together now we go into a very quick service of induction. Please come forward if you know yourself, you are a member of the Women Fellowship, uh, we do not have the privilege to call people by their names. Ruaraka Methodist Church, come forward. This is the opportunity for you to be dedicated to the work of God. Wewe ni mama, wewe ni member wa hii kanisa. All categories of women. Tukifika wakati wa kudedicate. Ni kama wewe ni member wa hii kanisa na wewe ni mama, unapata hii hiyo nafasi. Hiyo nafasi. Thank you very much. We may go on now with the service for the dedication. We are here in the presence of God to dedicate these sisters who have made a decision to follow Christ as members of the Women Fellowship. Christ's service has many services, some easy, others difficult. Some bring honor, others bring reproach. Some are suitable to our natural inclinations and temporal interests, while others are contrary to both. In some, we may please God, we may please Christ and please ourselves. In others, we cannot please Christ except by denying ourselves. Yet the power to do all these things is given to us in Christ who strengthens us. Amen. Amen. Uh, 
Uh, as the women stand here, it is important to know the objective of this fellowship. Methodist Women Fellowship is a voluntary organization whose aim is to unite Christian women within the Methodist Church with one another in Jesus Christ so that spiritual life of members may be enriched and that all working together may be enabled to give their fullest contributions to the church which is Christ's body. Uh, yes, in addition to that, I want to say that uh, the Methodist Church in Kenya is very proud and every year we have the practice of ensuring that we recognize the members of this fellowship. And uh, as an identity, they make the Musabibu. We encourage all women in this fellowship uh, to strive to ensure that they have this beauty of the Musabibu. Do you like it, church? Personally, I always like this Musabibu so much. Whenever I see women in it, I feel that this is the Methodist church in Kenya. I can say that this is a very strong movement of uh, a Christ-centeredness that the women have distinguished themselves to serve God and to be identified and to be known. Our work as the church is to support and we want to congratulate the Women Fellowship and to urge them on and to encourage all other our associate members uh, who continue to grow in this church. If you have not identified yourself, it is, it is good for you to do that. It is good for you to walk hand in hand in this fellowship. Uh, women of all category, we break all the barriers and we have no boundaries to say you are this type, you are this type because we have the position of full membership and associate members. So everybody who is a lady can identify with this movement. I am making that so that uh, if you are left there, you are not sure, you can learn. But for further engagement, you can always see, uh, visit me in my office, or the Women Fellowship leaders, so that we can tell you how you become part of this group. Uh, continue to desire that, and God will bless you. Let us continue now with the enrollment vows. I'm now speaking to the Women Fellowship. You are before God and His congregation. I ask you, therefore, will you be diligent to fashion your own life and give yourself to daily prayer? Will you diligent, diligently uh, le read the Word of God and seek His face in everyday activities? Do you promise to do all you can to make your own Christian? Do you promise to be loyal to the Women Fellowship? Do you promise to take part in some dif uh, definite Christian service? Do you promise to be loyal to your church? To a pigeon in my coffee? I now speak to the congregation, so I'll ask the congregation to rise up. We are before God as we agree to this. But I know you have done it and you will continue to do it. Will you support these members of the Women Fellowship in your daily prayers and the council and help them to fulfill the vows they have made in the presence of God, if church you're going to do that, say, within God's help we will. Church, you may now sit down as the women uh, at this point uh, do the lighting of their candles as they sing 
nimehaidi Yesu kukutumikia and I will then I will then commission them let them light their candles now and they will begin from me as we sing nimehaidi Yesu kukutumikia of the Holy Spirit one of them is fire the flaming torches of fire descended on the Pentecost day and landed on the hand of all the, the disciples who are waiting upon the Holy Spirit so in the name of God the Father, Son and the Holy Spirit may the Holy Spirit of God fill the lives of the women fellowship so that their light may shine to the world and glorify and exalt our Father in heaven. Amen? Amen? So may your light shine so that the name of the Lord is glorified. And may you continue with this banner of the Holy Spirit in your home, in the community, and everywhere to the glory of God. Can we say amen? amen? I now commission you, and this is the message we have heard from Him and proclaimed to you. God is light, and in him, no darkness at all. If you walk in his light, as he is the light, we have a fellowship with one another. Therefore, arise and shine before men and women, and glorify your Father in heaven. Amen? Amen. Hallelujah. Kanisa tuya pigeni makofi. You will place your candles, and they would color the church from one corner to another as we continue with the service and may the Lord bless you as you remain in him. Bwana use emu yangu We can sing that as we go to sing. fellowship for obeying to commit to continue serving God. Yeah, 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 yeah.